swim down deep. If your lungs are full of air, your body will float naturally. Even in deep water, my body floats because my lungs are full of air. In water you can stand in, practice swimming down so your head touches the bottom. Keep kicking your feet so you stay on your head. Here I am in four feet deep water. Watch as I swim down to the bottom. Now I swim down five feet. If you feel good and comfortable, try going in deeper water. Here I am swimming down seven feet deep. Now I'm at nine feet deep. Watch how I kick my legs to get down to the bottom. See how I kick off the bottom of the pool? This helps me to get to the top faster. And you're at 11 feet? Go. I use the same swimming technique in the four feet as I did the 11 feet. Don't forget to equalize so your ears don't hurt. Now I'm at 12 feet deep and I swim down to the bottom without any problems because I practiced a lot. Now watch me dive down 18 feet deep. I use the same swimming technique when I swim 4 feet as I do when I swim 18 feet. Now watch me do it with fins on. Fins help me go faster. Now my dad's going to teach you how to equalize so you don't hurt your ears. First, let me throw these dive toys in the water. Here's how equalization works. Pinch your nose closed and gently breathe out against the pinched nostrils. You will feel something happen inside the ears as they equalize. The ear pressure equalization is generally accompanied by the sensation of fullness in the ears. Now, watch as Elizabeth jumps into the water She's swimming down, right here she plugs her nose and she starts to blow into her nose and that blowing into her nose causes the pressure inside of her head to push out through her ears. This counters the pressure of the water pushing in on the ears. If a diver dives underwater without equalizing his ears, the increased pressure in the outer ear compared to the middle ear flexes the eardrum inward and causes that discomfort or squeeze. So a diver must always equalize the air pressure in his middle ear with the added pressure in the outer ear. The more you practice, the better you will get. You can use the same swim technique if you want to swim across the bottom of the pool. for watching me good luck swimming down deep. If you like my videos, please smash the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notified when I upload my next video. My name is Elizabeth. I started swimming when I was just a baby. Every week is a new adventure. Exploring new pools, trying new things, and meeting new people. So jump in with me, because life is fun when you just add water.